Did you know there are multiple ways to get from Bangkok Airport to Sukhumvit that won't break the bank? We're embarking on a journey to explore the myriad of affordable and efficient transportation options available. Navigating through Bangkok's bustling transportation system can be quite the challenge, especially when you're trying to find the best way to reach the vibrant neighborhood of Sukhumvit. It's not just about hopping on the first vehicle you see, it's about making the right choice that marries convenience, speed, and affordability. Whether you're a seasoned traveler who loves a good adventure, or someone who prefers a more relaxed journey, knowing your options can make a world of difference. From taxis that weave through the city's traffic to public buses that offer a slice of local life, airport shuttles for the comfort-oriented, and the BTS SkyTrain that offers a bird's-eye view of the city, we've got you covered. Stay tuned as we explore the various transportation methods, their pros and cons, and reveal the cheapest and fastest ways to reach Sukhumvit from Bangkok Airport. First up, we have the most common mode of transportation, taxis. Taxis are readily available at Bangkok Airport offering a convenient and direct way to reach Sukhumvit. They're available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, which is a boon for those arriving at odd hours. One of the main advantages of taxis is that they provide door-to-door -door service. This can be a lifesaver when you're laden with luggage, tired from a long flight, or simply want to avoid the hassle of navigating public transport. However, there's a trade-off for this convenience. Taxis can be more expensive than other modes of transportation, with fares typically ranging from 300 to 400 Thai baht, depending on traffic and the exact location of your destination in Sukhumvit. Speaking of traffic, this is one of the key disadvantages to consider when opting for a taxi. Bangkok is notorious for its traffic congestion, especially during peak hours. This could mean your journey time is significantly longer than expected, so it's something to keep in mind if you're on a tight schedule. Another factor to consider is the taxi fare structure. In Bangkok, taxi fares are metered, starting at a base rate and increasing with distance and time. It's worth noting that there's an additional airport surcharge and toll fees on top of the metered fare. So, while taxis offer the convenience of direct transportation, the cost can add up, particularly if you get stuck in a traffic jam. As for the taxi ride itself, it's usually a comfortable experience. The taxis are air-conditioned and most drivers are courteous and professional. However, English proficiency may vary among drivers, so it can be helpful to have your destination address written in Thai. While taxis offer door-to-door -door service, it's important to be aware of the potential for traffic and higher costs. But if convenience and comfort are top priorities after a long flight, a taxi can be a viable option for your journey from Bangkok Airport to Sukhumvit. Next on our list is the city's public bus system. Now this is where things get interesting. Public buses in Bangkok offer an affordable and authentic way to navigate the city. They're frequently used by locals, making them an excellent choice for travelers who want to experience Bangkok like a resident. The public bus system is intricate with numerous routes crisscrossing the city. While this might seem overwhelming at first glance, it's actually quite manageable once you get the hang of it. There are route maps available at most bus stops and online, making it easier to plan your journey. The buses run quite frequently, especially during peak hours, so you won't have to wait too long for your ride. Now let's talk about cost. One of the biggest advantages of the public bus system is its affordability. A one-way ticket from the airport to Sukhumvit will cost you less than a cup of coffee back home, Yes, you heard that right, it's an unbeatable price, especially for those on a tight budget. But like everything else, the public bus system has its quirks. The buses can get crowded, especially during peak hours. It's part of the local experience, but it may not be everyone's cup of tea. Also, while the buses are frequent, they are subject to Bangkok's notorious traffic. This means that your journey could take a little longer than expected. Despite these potential drawbacks, the public bus system remains an excellent option for the budget-conscious traveler. It's not just about saving money, but also about immersing yourself in the local culture and seeing the city from a different perspective. For the budget traveler, public buses are a cost-effective option, but do keep in mind the potential for crowded conditions and longer travel times. But if you're up for a bit of an adventure and don't mind rubbing shoulders with the locals, then the public bus system is definitely a transportation method worth considering. Now let's move on to airport shuttles. As we navigate through the bustling, vibrant city of Bangkok, airport shuttles offer a great balance between comfort, efficiency, and cost. Unlike taxis, airport shuttles operate on fixed routes, providing a reliable and straightforward way to travel from the airport to Sukhumvit. 
These shuttles are especially helpful for those who prefer planning their journey in advance. You can easily find these shuttles as you step out of the arrival hall, marked with clear signage and often painted in vibrant colors that are hard to miss. Let's talk about convenience. Airport shuttles are designed to cater to travelers, offering spacious seating and ample room for luggage. They typically run around the clock ensuring you won't be stranded regardless of your flight's arrival time. Plus, their routes are planned to cover major hotels and landmarks in Sukhumvit, making it easy for you to reach your destination without the hassle of switching between different modes of transportation. Now, on to the cost. While airport shuttles are not the cheapest option, they are certainly more affordable than taxis. The price per ride is fixed, meaning you won't have to worry about traffic conditions inflating your travel costs. But how efficient are they? Well, airport shuttles follow a timetable and usually make just a few stops along the way. This means that while they might not be as fast as a direct taxi ride, they're often quicker than public buses. And let's not forget the comfort factor. After a long flight, the spacious, air-conditioned environment of a shuttle can be a welcome relief. However, there's a small catch. During peak hours, these shuttles can fill up quickly, so if you're traveling during these times, it's wise to book your seat in advance to avoid any inconvenience. Airport shuttles are a comfortable and efficient option, though they might be a bit more expensive than public buses. They offer a great compromise between cost and comfort, making your journey from Bangkok Airport to Sukhumvit a breeze. Last but not least, we have the BTS SkyTrain. This is a transportation option that's not only efficient but also engaging, offering you a unique perspective of the city as you travel. The BTS SkyTrain operates two major lines that connect different parts of Bangkok. The Sukhumvit line stretches from the north to the south, crossing the heart of the city. The Silom line, on the other hand, serves travelers moving from the west to the riverside. The BTS SkyTrain offers a regular service with trains arriving every three to six minutes. So, even if you miss one, you won't have to wait long for the next. And when it comes to cost, it's highly reasonable. A one-way trip can range from 15 to 52 baht, depending on the distance, that's less than $2, making it a great option if you're watching your budget. And then there's the speed. The BTS SkyTrain is fast. Very fast. It zips through the city, bypassing the infamous Bangkok traffic. If you're looking to get from the airport to Sukhumvit quickly, this is a fantastic option. The ride typically takes around 30 minutes, which is significantly less compared to other transportation options. But it's not just about speed and efficiency. One of the highlights of taking the BTS SkyTrain is the view. As you soar above the city streets, you'll have a chance to take in the bustling city life, the skyline, and the beautiful temples that dot the city. However, the BTS SkyTrain may not be the best option for everyone. If you're traveling with a lot of luggage or during peak hours, it can get quite crowded. Also, navigating the stairs to the platforms can be a challenge if you have heavy bags. So, to wrap up, the BTS SkyTrain is a fast and convenient option, offering a unique view of Bangkok, though it may not be ideal if you're traveling with a lot of luggage. Now that we've explored the various transportation options, it's time to summarize. Taxis offer door-to-door -door convenience and are available round the clock, but can be pricier and subject to Bangkok's notorious traffic. Public buses are the cheapest option, offering a local experience, yet they require a bit of navigation and can be time-consuming. Airport shuttles provide a balance between cost and convenience, but their schedules may not align with yours. The BTS SkyTrain, on the other hand, is a fast and affordable choice with the added bonus of scenic city views, but it requires a bit of a walk to the nearest station. So, what's the best way from Bangkok Airport to Sukhumvit? Well, it depends on what you value most, cost, speed, or convenience. Remember, the best option depends on your preferences, budget, and schedule. Feel free to share your experiences in the comments and subscribe for more travel tips and guides.